everybody we're going live let me see if everything is looking good i hope everybody's having a great day today um uh, everything looks good let's drop the top image here look at that okay hey hello everybody i'm i'm just gonna do this cam here so what we're gonna do here is i've got a little bit of a different setup here let me show you what everything is so here we go watch that well bam cards so if I'm talking about a card here, I'll show it over on the side here. I have to remember which direction is which. It's a little mirror. And this is the best setup. Let me adjust this a little bit here. You can see my computer a little bit there from how I set things up. Okay, so we have a lot of different cards here. Welcome though, welcome to the stream. So today I am uh, effectively streaming me making a Star Trek CCG deck. Now, on my series on YouTube, I talked about second edition rules. Unfortunately, I don't own any second edition cards. Uh, as with Spellfire, I was only in the game during the early times. So I'm just going to sort these out a little bit. Just going to make some room here and start with these two here. So yeah, so I only got first edition cards here. It's an unfortunate thing, but uh, I'm going to build this first edition deck using the standards of second edition so basically the way i would have built it in second edition using first edition cards uh, i will ignore any card types such as for example my little outposts here outposts aren't in second edition um i can show you the outposts give me a second here yeah i know it's like cool because i can show these things off if i can get them a little correctly there we go see there's the outpost card. That's these here. So, hey, look, I don't have to put these up to the camera. I figured out how to do this very nicely, but no. So these have their own special rules that were in first edition. These are a type of card. It's gone from second edition. So we're not gonna even bother about these. Now the truth is, um, for those of you that do not know, this is a collectible card game based on Star Trek. Uh, I have a YouTube series. I go over the history of this, the rules of it. And today is just all about the deck building. If you have any questions about any of the rules or anything as I'm doing, just ask. Uh, from the cards I own here that I've seen, uh, I know I own some more cards, but I haven't been able to find them. I have workings of a very good Romulan deck. I'll probably smatter in some other uh, groups here. But um, the original here had both Federation, Klingon, Romulan, and then Unaligned. So we will maybe use some Unaligned. I don't know. But these outposts here, they're gone. We're not going to use them because I do want to keep this a little bit to second edition, even though it's definitely not. Let's drop that out for now. So we are going to go on the, as I said, the standard deck building rules. Now, the deck is going to need missions, dilemmas, and a normal uh, card game. So we're going to need five missions. Normally, you need at least 20 dilemmas. Well... My Dilemma deck is not that big, so I'm worried that I'm not going to have that. And then at least 35 of other cards. But let's start where it's obvious. Missions. Missions is a great place to start. So, let's uh, get some mission images up. Because I can. Oh, look at that. Excellent. Well, bam. Let's start with the first one. So, I have Covert Installation. Um, now... It's a hidden base monitoring in a neutral zone. Engineering leadership treachery uh, is what you need in over to overcome it. It's worth 35 points if you overcome this one. It's it's Romulan faction. I do I have a base. Unfortunately, I don't know if I have an actual base in amongst my uh, missions that I have here because I have a this small pile of missions. I'm missing most of the missions that I would have owned. So I'm going to run under the assumption that somewhere somewhere along the way one of these will be replaced by a base. Okay, because you need a base in order to <laughs> put down things. It's one of those problems that I, I apparently have here because I don't... Uh, I, again, these are the cards I could find um, that I own. So, we'll just look at it as if, if I'm... I'll, I'll choose four of these cards. So this one here, not a bad one. It's worth 35. You're trying to get to 100. You only need a engineering, leadership, and treachery. Pretty good. Uh, three, so it's not difficult to travel to. Uh, so that one's actually a really good option for having in our deck. Let's look at the next one. Expose the Covert Supply. Alright, this one I need Treachery 3. 
and then navigation. Doable, but a little difficult because I need a lot of treachery. So this one's a little more challenging. Um, doable, though. Interesting ones, though, still. Let's keep going. We have investigate the anomaly. All right. So this one, uh, I need exobiology and strength of greater than 35 total amongst all my players. And it's got kind of connections to all the factions here. Okay, you know, um, this one, I might have some characters that might be able to do this one, but I'm feeling like this one, I don't know how many uh, personnel I have will, that I will be able to have will have exobiology. I kind of feel like from my... Uh, how much treachery is there there's a lot of treachery in um oh there's one with exobiology well what do you know yeah but there's only one uh romulan i have that has exobiology all of them have treachery so that's one of those problems here so this one i'm thinking probably not investigate the raid oh whoop, whoop, whoop. exobiology and diplomacy Oh, see, now here's a problem. Exobiology again, and I only have one. Now, this doesn't mean I don't have personnel from other groups that might. The fact is, let me just take a quick look here at my other personnel. Let's see the file here. No, I don't have it. I have one card that has exobiology, so I'm feeling like this one is also a probably not. Take a look at you. Strategic Diversions. Treachery and strength of greater than 30. That actually is probably a pretty good one. Now, I do have two copies of this one, so we, we, don't, we don't need an extra copy. We're not copying these. And the last one I have here is Atrophysics in Youth. Study Plasma Streamer. Well, Youth is one that I do have in a couple of Romulans. But it's here. Astrophysics. That's a good question. Do I have a bunch of Romulans with astrophysics? If any, I got one. So, one exobiology, one astrophysics. So then we ask ourselves, well, astrophysics, do we have it in somewhere else? Because we want to be able to complete our quests here. And really, the only thing about these here is I have to get to 100 points. I have a 35 and two 30s right now. So I'm not really, I would have to complete four missions is the only thing about the setup. So as much as I'd like to, since I only have one of this one, I am thinking it's probably better to go with this one because, oh, let me just get that on camera a little more. Sorry about that. I have to make sure to get this camera a little better. I might go for this one because both of these I only have one character out of my personnel that can apply to them, but this one, if I can complete it early on, then I only need to complete this one and maybe these two. There are 35 ones. Get that 100 points, or as close as possible to it. So, And, and I'm going to need a base, so I'm thinking I'm going to eliminate these two. So they're going, they're going away also. We'll put them on our mission and our kind of pile of stuff we're not using. Here's our four missions. And again, I am missing a base a headquarters, so I would have a headquarters mission on here to start out with. Uh, <laughs> again, I, I, I don't have every one of my cards that I owned from years ago. You know, um, it, it's sort of like Spellfire. I know I have more cards. Where they are... Well, that's sort of like, you know, finding old baseball cards in an attic. But we have our four missions now. So we've taken a good step here in building a deck. So if you don't know some of the basics of the rules, just to go over them quickly again, you will have five missions out in front of you at the beginning of the game. Uh, originally, you'll have at least one headquarters, and then maybe two headquarters, and then a number of missions that if you complete them, you get 100 points. In this case, I'm not going to have a greatest deck of them all. I'm not going to deny that. This is going to be probably pretty, um, I wouldn't call it terrible deck, but not the greatest deck, unfortunately, just from the nature of how things work. Um, so 
I'm gonna have to deal with. This will just be a deck I can I could theoretically play with, but. We're going to be playing 2nd edition when we do play, and I'm going to use some online material so I have more options. Um, but I want to be able to win. And you need to get 100 points to win, which means I'd have to complete uh, two of these and this one at least. So I have to do the 235s and then one of each of these. So, I mean, that gives me some options here a little bit. I'm still restricted in the game, but you have your five missions. Completing them is the major task there. So let's let's get our missions out of the way now that we've gotten them together and we know what we're doing with them. So we have our mission deck done. Now we would have to do dilemmas. The thing about dilemmas is you want twenty of them. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine unique dilemmas and a couple repeats. Oh, yeah. Now I can use copies of dilemmas. I just can't play them, you know, at the same time is the only thing. So I can do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. I don't have enough dilemmas for proper dilemma deck, which is a problem. But I do at least have a good number of dilemmas. So let's go over what I do have because I do want to talk about them. Let's go to Dilemmas. Uh, it starts with Alien Abduction. Turn that back on. Oh, okay, Alien Abduction. Uh, most cunning away team members, your choice to tie, is held captive by aliens and missions complete or three leadership present. Interesting one. Okay. Uh, it basically drops out one of your things. They'd probably change the language in... Um, second edition more be like stopping them instead attacks the, uh let's go to the next one attacks the two strongest members of the way team owner's choice of tie kills one of them wow unless the combined strength is 16 greater than 16 wow that's pretty deadly that's pretty ridiculous that's a pretty good one to throw at someone just to get rid of them holographic ruse Experience enemy hologram trick. You are tempted to divulge secrets. Passable unless integrity greater than 30 or cunning greater than 30. You need pretty good teams for some of these dilemmas I've got here. Granted, um, I mean, some of them have pretty decent numbers. Now I got three of these. Place on a ship, cannot move unless medical present. Uh, one crew member killed. Discard with two engineers on board. Interesting. So if you have engineers, you can ignore this one. Microbiotic colony. Ship, uh, ship damage, less science engineering, and officer aboard. Discard dilemma. Okay. Uh, so, you damage a ship. That's actually pretty good. I talked about damage in the ship in one of my previous episodes of the rules. How, you know, so much damage will destroy it. Um, but you can take a little bit. Hey, microvirus. I got two of these. They're black bordered ones. Kills one away team member, opponent's choice, unless medical or security present. It's guard dilemma. Pretty simple. Oh, what does that value mean? See, the problem is trying to compare first. And previous edition cards. See, these don't have costs, too. So there's some different, definitely some problems in between the two of them that uh, translating between first and second edition doesn't work actually really well. Phase matter. I'm going to split into two away teams. A larger team is phased and cannot beam until cured by engineer and science in another away team on the planet. Interesting. Neat. Radioactive garbage scout. Place a space line here. A mission cannot be attempted where, uh, where present. Ship with tractor beam and two engineers can tow scow. I mean, the problem is these aren't the best example of playing the game as second edition as I was saying it. Because, again, the important thing about first edition and second edition is this cards here was all more about the trekkiness of the cards rather than the rules. So there's some complexities here that we don't really want to get into too much about. 
Kills one way a team member unless strength greater than 44. Or you bribe rebels by discarding equipment of your choice. Alright, so we have a dilemma deck. Is it a great dilemma deck? No. Is it an actual complete dilemma deck? Also no. But it's a dilemma deck nonetheless. I should have five more cards for this to be a proper dilemma deck indeed. But I don't have five more dilemmas, so we're not going to worry about it. We aren't. We're just gonna we're just gonna play it by ear at this point in time and keep this dilemma deck with our missions. So we're gonna put them together. Boop, boop, boop. Back to back. Let's look at what we have now for other types of cards. We do have some interrupts, events, and equipment. Now I do want to look at personnel, of course. Um, which I have. Those are the two personnel. Here's the ships I have. But let's um, switch to a different one. I kind of want to look at equipment. I don't have a lot of equipment, so looking at it might be not a bad, might not be a bad idea because I can go through it relatively quickly here. Uh, let me just make sure I have plenty of reads. Okay, let's look at equipment. Let's start with an engineering kit. Uh, gives your officer classified personnel the extra skill in engineering where present. That's actually pretty good. I can give engineering to someone. Now the question is, I look to over here, do I need engineering? Well, I do have one of these missions that needs engineering. So this will give me engineering, of course. Now I have two of them, so I definitely could have both of these in here. This one gives you science classified personnel, engineering. These two give science an officer, medical, Romulan, or non-aligned use only for each personnel plus two strength where present. So since I'm doing Romulan Heavy, I'm going to have the Romulan Disruptor. As for these, no, oh, sorry, these, which we're going to go through. There's the engineering pad. So that's uh, for officers, for science. Gives an officer medical. He has a science medical. And there's that disruptor I'm definitely going to put in there. So we're definitely throwing the disruptor in there. So I'm just going to put this, uh, so see here it is. I'm going to put it up like, um, I don't have space for it, really. So I'm going to put it like right here. Sure. We'll put that there. These I'm going to wait on. So engineering and medical, these were what these give out. So I'll put these down here. When we look at our missions, we don't need medical. I don't have any that has medical. This isn't to say medical might not be important. I have to think of what my opponent's dilemmas might have. But then I'm going to have to look at my personnel and how many officers and science officers I'm having. So we're going to wait on equipment. We've looked at equipment. We've looked over the cards of it. I'm going to put these to the side. We're probably not going to come back to equipment for pictures, at least over at the side there. Since we've seen them all there a little bit, I might keep them. I'll keep them open for now. Let's look to interrupts. Sure. Interrupts. They're an interesting type of card. They're useful. All right. Let's start with Asteroid Sanctuary. Uh, play on any ship. If two navigation aboard, hide ship to prevent battle indicated against that ship for this turn. So you can stop a battle. Eh. I mean, these aren't bad, but... I don't know if I'm planning on having my ships battle another, and this stops a battle for my opponents. Maybe I want it. Uh, this returns to nearest Klingon outpost. Place on one Klingon ship until outpost reach, then discard. This one's uh, Romulan outpost. Um, since I will be doing Romulan, and I'll totally have things. I think first editions were definitely weirder. So I think that one is one I will take, though. The, um, I'm not going to do the Klingon one, but I will do the Romulan one. Uh, near warp transport. Allows beaming from ship to neighboring space line location. Transport at maximum of 60 personnel and your equipment. Okay. That's an interesting one. I can move from one mission to another. Um, that's actually a pretty decent one. I'm going to take that one. Uh, that might be helpful. Particle Fountain. If two engineer present in a way team, play Particle Fountain maximum one and 
on just completed planet mission for bonus points. Look at that. Bonus points. That might be a way of tipping the scales, and that means I have a way of getting extra points. Extra points are good in this case. Just like the one dilemma, five bonus five bonus points down here. Oh, things are mirrored in the camera. Great. I don't have a way of unmirroring it. The realization that you've got, you know, slight props in the way that things are fixed. But anyway. Vulcan Mind Meld, plan any location. Each uh, each of your Mind Meld personnel there may select another of your personnel present and add that personnel skills to their own until end of turn. Eh, I don't think that's going to be useful for the deck I'm building here, unfortunately. Wormhole, requires two of them. I don't have two. So, whoop, Wormhole goes away. So, I will put these asteroids that we talked about to avoid combat in here also. We'll, uh, we'll avoid combat. And it seems like Navigation's a good one, but also engineering will be helpful. So what I'm thinking now, getting rid of these, we're going to look to our equipment. Oh, that's the wrong pile. I put it on the maybe equipment. So we're going to put these interrupts in here. I'm going to put them under the equipment because I know these interrupts are done with. But we've gotten all the interrupts we want. Now, of course, the deck is growing. We're one, two, three, four, five, six. We're six cards. And we are aiming for 35. So we're probably going to pad it with a whole bunch of personnel, a bunch of ships, events. We're still, we're still working on it. We're still building it up. But we've got the interrupts that seem appropriate to this entire situation. So why don't we look at events? Okay. Ion atmospheric ionization. Uh, play crosswise any planet location. Maximum three personnel per turn can be beamed up or down at this location. That's actually might be helpful. Uh, slow someone down, if they, especially if they think they need a lot of personnel somewhere. Might be helpful. Uh, let's look at the next one. Distortion field. Play crosswise face up on a planet. Once each turn, flip card over while face up prevent all beaming down beaming up there okay so it's basically the same thing these two except different versions this is ha this is like three this is every other turn all right okay espionage romulan on klingon play on any Klingon mission your romulan personnel may now attempt this mission discard after mission completed Okay, this one, because I can't play on my opponent's missions, effectively, if I had a Klingon mission, I could use this to try it. I could play this on there, if I had a couple of these, and have Klingon missions under my control, but I don't have them. So I'm thinking this one is not helpful. We're going we're gonna to disregard that completely. Neuro server device, play on a non-aligned ship, unless two security aboard... Use ship and crew for one turn as your own. Discard event. Eh, eh. I can't guarantee what my opponent will have. It's not a bad one. They Non-aligned, if we were talking about first edition, would be something I might think about. But no. I'm going to get... I'm not going to do that. QNet. Play between two station space, uh, space line locations. Uh, no ship may pass QNet unless two diplomacy on board. Okay, yeah, sure. Make it harder for people to pass between different places. I like that one. QNet, I think I'll keep. Red alert, play on table. Uh, in place of your normal card play, you may report for duty any number of ship personnel and equipment cards. Okay. You can play more cards, basically, with this one. Normally, you're, you're limited to a degree. This one allows you to play a whole bunch. There might be something similar to this in 2nd edition where you can play more stuff. Basically gives you some more points to work with, but only to play ships, equipment, and personnel. So, but this one in this case I think is helpful, so I will keep it. Rescue. Regenerate a card. Exchange this event for any one card uh, from your discard pile. So you switch a card out. I like these here. Get a card back from my discard. Because I only have the one personnel for the one mission... It might be good to have these in case I need to get him back. Because then I'm not limited by that one. 
it's a good idea. Uh, ooh. Space dock. Play on an outpost. Instantly repairs uh, your damaged ships if they stop here. Also repairs non-aligned ships. Um, outposts. I think outpost you'd play on one of the planets. I would have had five missions and put an outpost on one of them to make it an outpost for Romulans to allow uh, Romulans to be there. Effectively to put their ships there on a mission. If I recall first edition rules, which is harder to recall because again, I was play I've been going over the second edition ones and I played first edition years ago. Now this one is still fairly useful, so I will keep a couple of space docks, but not all the space docks. I don't need, I don't need. I'm only gonna have like maybe two of the outpost cards. So yes, let's look at static warp bubble. Play on table. Each opponent must discard one card before. Ending each turn, not cumulative. Plays on table. Opponent must discard one card before ending each turn. Okay, interesting. Messes up opponents. So I'm going to get rid of these two in the front, the ones that were sort of like made it harder to beam down. Eh. I, I, I don't like them too much. I like these. I like the interference. I'm going to have one of the bubbles. Get rid of the other bubble. Just because I don't want to get too many cards. So there are my events. Other events, you go away. Cool. Now I'm taking a look at the events for my deck. Uh, again, I'm building this as if it was more second edition. Which doesn't actually help too much. Because it's sort of like a weird bastardization in this way. Alright, let's look at personnel. Now I'm going to play some assumptions here. Uh, I'm going to assume I can maybe have a headquarters that will allow me to play multiple things, something like that. So I will be putting out, I will be looking at everything, you know. I only have one Klingon in here, so and he's a navigator. Uh, that's it. An officer navigator. Eh. not the best command so I think we're gonna just eliminate the Klingon for now I'll show you that Klingon uh, boo, boo, boo. hey there he is we're not gonna play with him oh shoot <laughs> we're gonna put him to the side what did you I'm recording right now hey, everybody say hi to stream niece but I'm recording um, okay so we're ignoring him uh oh Playing around. Uh -oh. Well, that's you being naughty. Or silly. How did I be naughty? Naughty. Bam. Well, bam. Uh, chat. Anyway, okay. Why don't we take a look at Starfleet personnel? Now that I'm interrupted a little bit. Roar, go back down to Grammy. I'm doing something right now, and I need to be, I need some quiet, and I need you to be good, okay? Careful of that. Why? Because you're trying to break stuff while I'm trying to work in here. It was very important that you didn't just come up here and barge in. So come on, go down. I'm working right now. Well, I can keep playing my cat. He'll be here. Go. Anyway, sorry about the interruptions. I'll probably edit this out of the YouTube one. Maybe I won't, just because it's adorableness, but also naughtiness. Anyway, let's talk about the Starfleet personnel, just because I have them here. He has biology. Uh, did I need biology? Not really. Here we have some leadership and diplomacy. Aurora, go downstairs to Grammy. You're trying to break stuff. I don't want to go. I'm working stuff needs to be quiet here, and I need you to go. You already interrupted it, and I'm getting very upset. I don't need him on right now. <sighs> Empathy 2 from Loxana Troy. Norisati, leadership. Eh. Thomas Riker, ooh, leadership, navigation, geology, music. T 
Toby, Russell. Physics. I don't feel like I need any of these. So I think I'm going to not have any Starfleet personnel. Now, we do have non-aligned personnel. Technically speaking, because we are talking first edition, we could use these. Let's look at these. Empathy, diplomacy, treachery. It's got treachery. That's a good one. So he might be a good one to put in here. Greed. Nah. I mean, he's got great cunning, but I haven't seen anything that really needs cutting. Greed and physics. Nah. Computer skill. Nah. So really, only this one of the non-aligned looks like it'd be useful because of the treachery skill. And has a really good cunning anyway. That wasn't me. That was being a bumper. I know. A little bit more interruptions there. Sorry, just a little technical issues on my end. All right, so he's just a VIP. Not officer, not science. We're going to be looking at our pile of Romulans. So let's set up the pile of Romulans that we're looking at. Because, I mean, we have a bunch. Navigation youth. Now, did we take youth? We do have something with navigation. We have treachery, leadership, engineering, navigation, diplomacy, exobiology. Navigation would be useful though. Here we have then archaeology, greed, and treachery. I think I do want that one. We're going to have one copy of him. He's got really good strength. They both have pretty good strength. Geology and youth. We did have youth, did we? Let me check. Uh, we. I don't think we took the youth one. You know what? We did not take the youth one. We've got nav navigation, diplomacy, engineering, treachery. So navigation is a good one to have here. But you, Joanne, you're useless. I have a whole lot of copies of you. So I might put the extra. I'm going to put both of them in here for now and eliminate those because you're not helpful. Jera, biology and youth. Did I need biology? See, it's like hard for me to remember all of these. I don't really need biology. So I think we can skip out on you. Treachery. Treachery is good. Treachery and youth. Treachery is good. Treachery. Um, you're not great, so I don't need a huge amount of you. Treachery, biology, computer skill. Yeah, treachery. Here's our exobiology one, so we'll get two of you, because I have a bunch of copies of you. Treachery and archaeology. Sure. Here's our leadership, diplomacy, navigation. All right. Geology and physics. Hmm. Nah. Astrophysics? Eh, we can have an astrophysics. Physics, computer skill, youth. Nah. Okay. So we've sort of gone through. Let's see what we have. Do we have engineering in amongst here? We do have a whole bunch of officers, a couple of VIP, and one, two, one science, one security. So we, that's the thing here. It looks like we don't have science. So the medical tricorder, engineering pad, not helpful. But these, giving engineering and medical, will be. We have a whole bunch of officers. 
So I don't think we have engineering, but we have two items that can give some of our officers engineering to overcome it. We have plenty of we have some leadership and some treachery. Lots of treachery. We've got some navigation in here. Strength, working on it. Diplomacy and exobiology. Diplomacy over here. Unfortunately, it looks like Telbach. It's going to be very helpful. But we have diplomacy over in him, too. Which is also be helpful, that we don't need to focus on that. It's almost as if, like, I would love to have another leadership from something non-Romulan. I just don't have it. I just don't have them. The lack of certain types of cards, in this case, hurtful. But our officers getting engineering and medical turns out to be something useful. So we'll put those with our disruptor. We're going to get rid of these ones because we have one science officer. Um, where did I put the other pile of... Did I already put them over here? Yes, I did. Wow. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. All right. So I'd have to, what, have six ships? I don't think I have six Romulan ships. I have five. Here's where a problem with the being Romulans can help. Uh, I have three of these boys. Three of them. I do have one, two, I have a number of actual decent commanders. So the three required to for each of these, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. I only have 13 personnel though, not the best, but I, I could have these with a cloaking device tractor beam, that sort of thing. And then I also do have a science ship, very simple, and a scout vessel, very simple. These five, I think I'm going to have to put in there, because what I have, I don't have much of a choice right now. Now we can take a look at our other ships that we have, because we do have some other ships. I can put the rest of this pile in here now that we've gone through most of our deck. Um, let's take a look. A Federation ship. Eh. I mean, these things are cool. I don't have the stuff to do with them. I can't. I can't use them. Same with this Klingon ship. I could have that dude and Klingon ship and be able to have it put together, but not helpful combat vessel? Well, I mean, what pretty decent range weapons and shields, so maybe. Mercenary ship, long range scan and shielding. Uh, very average stuff. So I'm thinking mercenary ship is actually probably pretty good here. Because I think I can have my Romulans, uh, if I recall nine aligned correctly, I could use them. And uh, some transports. Transports kind of suck. I'm thinking what I will do though, is put these away. I think I will put the combat vessel in here also. All right, with just some slight interruption, I think I've made a Star Trek deck. I've put together a deck here that I could play with. Is it a great deck? Heck no. This here would probably be really terrible at standards, even in first edition standards. And I am not including things. I should probably do things like throw these outposts in there because I technically should. And at least, um, oh, I do have exobiology, treachery, three. I, I had one of those already. Probably that one too, just so that these this works then, I guess. It's quote unquote legal. Quote unquote. So, I threw a couple extra cards in here just to make it its thing. It, I technically am missing um, Dilemma cards, though. So, it is not quite a 60-card deck. But, this is most of what a Star Trek deck would be. 
figuring out what I want to build, you got to look at your ships, what they can do, your personnel and what they can do. Can your personnel complete your missions? Because that's one of the things you want to do. These missions are how you win the game. So when you are looking at your five missions, you have to make sure the personnel you have can actually complete it. The dilemmas you use on opponents, you don't worry about those. You might want to plan for things that your opponents might have, but you have to look at vessels. Will I have the personnel to fly them, use them, staff them? Personnel. Do I have those that could staff vessels, for one thing? Do I have ones that could complete missions, for another thing? So this is a combination of these things. Then you have things like equipment, where it adds the stuff, where I have like the engineering kits, which add to my ability to be an engineer. My Romulans don't have engineering, but I need engineering. I need engineering right here. Guess what? I have, oh, I need an engineer. Do I have an engineer? I do have an engineer. Well, bam, engineer. So actually don't need engineering as I'm engineer, but th there are cars that need engineering, navigation, that sort of thing. Uh, especially some of my events that I might want to use for myself to help myself out. I, I've put things together in such a way that it's made to assist me. Like two en if two engineer are present, do I, ha I don't have two engineer, do I? So, hey, look, I made, I found another mistake of something that maybe I can correct if I've got another engineer. I might not. I might have a single engineer. That might be something I can't do anything about. Just figuring out, because you have to see how your cards are going to interact. And this is the same with any collectible card game, truthfully speaking. You can have to see how they interact, how they can help you out. Oh, so many medical and security... Oh, okay, I got I got an engineer. Which is the best engineer? So it looks like the best engineer I could throw in here is Yeah, one of the unaligned. I'll just put him in there so I have two engineers. You know what? Two copies of it can't have them out both at the same time, but I'm increasing my chances of getting the two engineers I need to get the bonus five points using the particle fountain to get what I need to. So it's all about planning it out and planning out my win. So, all right. I think I've corrected any problems in this deck. I hope everybody's enjoyed this deck building stream. Uh, sorry for the interruptions for stream niece. Um, it is an internal plague, which I'll have to deal with for some years to come. I will be back later to stream some Fallout. Um, and I will probably be participating in some Jackbox with Ollie on his uh, Twitch channel later on. I'll probably uh, tweet that out when I know that. But um, I hope everybody had a great time. Uh, at least you may have learned a little bit about the Star Trek customizable card game. Um, it doesn't look like I got any major questions about it. Um, so, you know, basics. This was an interesting setup for uh, deck building. I wanted to test it out. It looks like it went well. So I'm happy about that. I don't know if it'll work for every game just because of the number of cards I need to worry about. But this one worked well. So I hope everybody's going to have a good day. I'll be back later. I'll announce when I'm doing Fallout. I'll do it for a couple hours um, this evening. I'm not sure exactly when. Uh, five, six, seven... I'll, I'll figure it out for my own schedule. I have to make sure I get um, Bessem together. This one will be uploaded on YouTube a little later this afternoon. That's it. So uh, have a great day, everyone. And I'll see you all next time, of course. Goodbye.